Despite what some skeptics say, the Bible is full of references to the deity of Christ. This video is the first video in a series of videos that will cover the deity of Christ inside the Bible. The link to the full playlist is in the description, but let's get this going. John 1 verses 1 through 4 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. This beautiful passage shows the deity of Christ. So let's dig deeper into this passage. Before we dig into this passage, it's important to know who the Word is. We can see in John 1.14, which says, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen His glory, glory as of the only Son, from the Father, full of grace and truth. So we know that the Word mentioned in this passage is Jesus Christ. This understanding really helps us understand this passage. So, John 1.1 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. When John says in the beginning, this is a reference to the Old Testament. Jews would frequently quote and speak from the book of Genesis, which begins with, in the beginning. And the Gospel of John sets the stage in the same exact tone as Genesis. John is saying that the Son was there in the beginning, and only God existed in the beginning. Now, when John says the word is, quote, with God, these words express the coexistence, but at the same time, the distinction of person. These words imply that the word is also a separate person. This can be compared to Genesis 1.26, where God says, let us make man in our image. When John concludes this verse by saying that the word, quote, was God, he remarkably is saying that Jesus, the word, is God. For those of you who have friends that believe the deity of Christ is not mentioned in the Bible, look no farther than this verse. John 1-2 says that, quote, He was in the beginning with God. This verse summarizes John 1-1 by saying that the Word, who was God, who existed before creation, existed as a distinct person. This verse expands on verse 1 by saying that the Word was one in nature with God. The Word was also pre-existent and also has personality. John 1.3 says, All things were made through him, and without him was not anything that was made. All things came into existence through the pre-existent word, and nothing came to exist apart from Jesus. This verse makes it clear that nothing came into being apart from it. This is only possible if he is God. John 1.4 says, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. When John writes that, quote, in him was life, John writes this so that his audience knows that all life is in a way connected to the eternal source of light, Jesus. When John adds on, quote, in the life was the light of men, he is explaining the word's relation to humankind. Jesus, also known as the light, is the life for all humans. This light carries back to the first days when creation was unstained by sin. And this now applies to us as the word gives salvation to us all. In summary, this beautiful passage from the Gospel of John is meant to show us the beauty of our Savior. The one who was there since the beginning created everything and took on the flesh to be our Savior. That's amazing. I'm Zach. This is Here in Apologetics. I hope you like this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to check us out on Patreon as well. I could really use support. That's it for now. I'll see you next time.